Welcome to Health Coach for Women, a podcast where we explore alternative and holistic solutions to better health and wellness through intentional living. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today on another episode of Health Coach for Women, a podcast where we explore alternative solutions to better health and wellness. And I'm your host, Marsha. Now, of course, you know, I love starting out with quotes. Before I get into that quote, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button, share and subscribe. And I also just want to say thank you. Thank you to all that who has supported me on my journey, all that has who, who's been there the whole time. I just wanted to say thank you. All right. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and start with this quote. All right. And this quote is by Eckhart Tolle. All right. So when the basis for your actions is inner alignment with the present moment, Your actions become empowered by the intelligence of life itself. Again, that is by Eckhart Tolle. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. So Uh, I like that. Um, The intelligence of life itself. I like that. Now, today's topic, of course, is being in alignment with your true self, right? Um. I really want to talk about being in alignment and what it is to be living in alignment with your true self. And why is that important? Why is that important? When you're not, first of all, what do I mean by living in alignment? So when I talk about living in alignment, I'm talking about living and being your true self. Okay. Living and being your true self, right? And not based on anyone's expectations or societal norms or what uh, family expectations is placed upon you of what you should be and who you should be, right? So when you live, and this is what I had to do for myself on my own personal journey, all right? Um, I had to live in alignment with my true self of who I really am, you know, embracing my true self right? And my true self is quite different from many people, and I'm okay with that. My true self is not what others may follow or believe, um, but my true self is being me, right? Being me and accepting who I am with flaws, with the best uh, qualities of myself, along with the flaws, right? No imperfections, because we all have them. None of us are perfect. None of us are people who are without flaws, right? And and it's being aware uh, of who you really are, the essence of, of your core self, right? And what do I mean by that, right? How many people are living these lives of trying to be someone else, right? trying to be someone else or trying to be like someone else, right? You know, I like to say, you know, stay in your own lane. (laughs) Stay in your own lane. Don't worry about what somebody else got going on. Stay in your own lane and be your authentic self, right? So you'll see a a lot of things that I do uh, may be different uh, than what other, other people that you may see or listen to, right? I don't follow what other people are doing. Now, do I get some inspiration and on certain things for topics that I talk about? Yes, um, but I follow my own ideas. I follow my own mind, uh, and and I do uh, what I feel that I need to do. What's important for me, and, and what is important for the people who I who I am serving, right? Um, because it's about service. And for me, the, you know, the best of me, the best of me that I can talk and say uh, uh, about myself is the quality of being, living with good character, right? Being kind and not being malicious, right? Um, Just being 
being who I am, the good of me, right? That's the good of me. And I love that. Um, but I'm not here to put on ears and and pretend, you know, that this is so, everything is so woohoo and, and beautiful, right? Because we all have things that we go through in life. We all have things that we, challenges that we face. You know that I've shared with you that last year I experienced heartbreak, right? Losing my mom, right? November 17, 2023, right? Um, that was hard for me. That was the one of the hardest things I've ever encountered because I knew it was coming eventually, you know, but you know that it's coming, but uh, to, be, to be prepared for such a loss uh, is still devastating, right? Um, but so this is this is what I want to talk about. And, you know, I, I, I discuss a lot of different things, right? But I've shared with you my vulnerability, right? Uh, different things that I've experienced and gone through, right? You know that I've been, have uh, did bankruptcy before years ago, right? You know that I was homeless, right? I share that stories with you guys. You know that I had health issues, vitamin D de deficient with fibroids and bleeding issues. I've shared all of this stuff with you guys, right? And if you don't know, you know now. If you haven't had, if you read the book, you would know, right? Um, and even past trauma, domestic violence, right? Even and sexual abuse when I was younger, a child, all of these things. And it's not stuff that I dwell on and talk about, um, but I have shared these things with you at some point. And I think it's important to be able to come out and speak about those things because it helped me to identify uh, things within myself that needed to be worked on. And, and this is how I started on my whole wellness journey. So as I go back to the top, right, living in alignment with your true self, when you can truly identify, right, what's really important to you, right, what really matters most to you, right? And, and again, setting aside expectations uh, of what others expect of you. What is it that you expect from yourself, right? What is the best part of you, of who you are? What is it that you are hiding or, or from the world, right? And when I say that, I, I mean, what are you hiding from the world that you feel that you would be judged or you feel that you would be ridiculed or you wouldn't feel accepted, right? Now, this you have to be honest with yourself about, right? You have to be honest with yourself. Are you working a career that's not aligned with your true values and core beliefs? You know, are you maybe cohabitating with someone who's not in alignment with your goals and dreams and aspirations, who, uh, it's okay for, to think differently, but who is, again, like I said, not in alignment with who you are as a person and is not accepting of you, of who you are. It's okay to be different, right? No two people are the same, right? And it's okay to disagree. And it's okay to have different viewpoints, right? Respectfully, respectfully. So ask yourself these questions. You know, who, who is your true self? Who are you? What are your deepest desires, right? What are your deepest desires? Uh, what is it that you really want from this life, right? What is it that you truly expect for yourself? Um, these are the questions that you want to ask. What are your true values and beliefs? Right? What are your true values and beliefs? 
what are the things that you fear to face that's holding you back? Mm. What are the things that you fear the most that is holding you back from your true self? Now, that's a, that's a deep question right there, right? What are the fears that you feel? Are, what are the deep fears that are holding you back from being your true self? Remember, failure is a part of the journey, right? Don't be afraid to fail. Part of the success is going through failure failure and, and, and building resilience. Hey, been there, done that. <laughs> So I want you to really get in tune and ask yourself these deep thought provoking questions, right? I want you to really understand and know that the best way and the only way to really be in alignment uh, is to live in alignment is to really learn how to just be your true authentic self, right? And the things I've talked about this before too. And the things that you don't find pleasantly pleasant about yourself, you work on those things, right? We're all a work in progress. You work on those things. So I covered the topic of the, the subject of being your true self, right? And I have my little notes here because I have my little things that I need to discuss. So I want to make sure I, I don't leave things out. So I talked about the importance of that, what it means to be a true self, right? And stop living by society's expectations, right, of what you should be. Who do you want to be? Who are you? Who are you? What is the essence of your core self? Who are you? Okay? Who are you? I am authentically me, right? Now, I've shared with you about my own uh, journey as far as uh, my faith. You know that I'm a woman of faith, right? And I'm a Muslim woman. But I don't, for me, I don't get caught up in labels, right? Because I'm a spiritual being, first and foremost, who happens to be a woman who is Muslim, right? Because it is so important that we 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 get rid of labels. Um, and I see so, this is the some of the things that keeps us separate from one another because we we have these different view viewpoints, right? We have these different views and ideas on different things, right? And I said that that is okay. But when you can come to a common ground of what is the most important thing of all that we all should share, right? And that is connection. Connection, having deep connection with one another, right? Through, through what? Love, which is the highest frequency right? The highest frequency. All right. So what are some signs that you're in misalignment? What are some signs that you're living in misalignment? You can be in misalignment through various ways, right? Again, I talked about family, society, and even media, right? Um, some signs that you're on misalignment uh, is, is whether it's work, right? And I'll use work for an example because you have so many people who have decided that they're, lo they, they're no longer dreaming, right? They, they no longer dare to dream, right? So they no longer dare to dream and they are merely existing. They're merely existing, living the life of going to work and paying bills, right? Even if it's a job that's not aligned with their core values, they, 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 they don't believe in uh, what they're doing or 
they are at a job where it is totally unfulfilling, but they're too afraid to take the chance and launch that business or write that book or to at least set up and, and have a new career with something that is more aligned with who they really are, right? So if you have, I'm giving an example, if you have a love for animals and you, you enjoy doing things to help and rescue and save animals. I know when I was younger, I was the animal rescuer, right? <laughs> Bringing home stray kittens and dogs, taking care of these animals, getting them, nursing them, getting them back to health. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's your calling to um, start a foundation for animals, for animal abuse or, or whatever, helping animals, or maybe it's just working at an animal clinic. I don't know. Only you know that. And if you don't know, maybe it's time to search and discover and explore what it is that you truly want, right? What it is that you truly want misalignment okay another example of misalignment you want to be a millionaire or you want to be a billionaire whatever um but you can't manage your your finances you can't manage your finances right uh your credit is jacked up um you're living paycheck to paycheck right if you are struggling with health issues like chronic pain, being held back by past traumas, or feeling overwhelmed and hopeless, please know there is hope. There is help. Transcendence, a woman's guide to healing and self-love for better health, happiness, and abundance is a blueprint to help you get your life back and reclaim your health. Within its pages, you'll learn how to elevate your existence by shifting your mindset toward the positive, focusing your energy on what's really important, using gratitude to feel deep appreciation, changing your gene expression through epigenetics, building resilience, and living in a state of flow, feeling love overflow within. Go beyond an ordinary life. Transcend. Buy it now. All right, so, but yet you want to do these things, but you're not in alignment. So what's the way to, the first, first way to be in alignment with those goals of becoming whatever, a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, or someone who is just very successful, right? And to obtain the time freedom that you may desire. You have to be able to fix the foundation, right? And I'm, and I'm not saying this to, hey, listen, no judgment here on my part. I've told you my story. I've been through bankruptcy twice, right? Okay. I had my car repoed. That's my story, right? That's my story. Along with all the other things that I mentioned to you before. And through it all, I've developed resilience. Through it all, I've become wiser. Through it all, I have used my story, my personal past experience to help other people, right? So your past experiences does not have to be an embarrassing moment for you. It could be what can help you to help other people. So I use the example of finance, right? Being in alignment with your finances, right? I've had those issues, but I had to what? fix the foundation. What needed to be fixed? The foundation on money management skills, being able to manage my finances and taking a good look, right? Of what I was ignoring because I would ignore it, right? Don't sweep it under the rug. Don't ignore it because it only gets worse. Don't ignore it. Address it, right? Address it. Because what you do impact others around you, who you support or who look for you for support. Fix the foundation, right? Be honest and truthful with yourself of where you are financially. Look at where you are financially and be honest with yourself of what needs fixing, what needs eliminating, right? What needs improvement? 
right? Are you paying your bills on time? Are you making your credit card payments on time, right? On or before the due date and not using your card until a week after because you know they report after you after the due date, right? Seeing your scores go up because of doing those good habits and good behaviors, right? Increasing those credit scores, addressing paying your bills on time, setting up payment arrangements, living within your means, learning how to live within your means, getting a budgeting app to help you, right? There's all these different budgeting apps, apps that can help you manage your finances. Being in alignment. Okay, that's another, another example, right? I talked about job already, right? What about your wellness? What about your wellness? Are you so busy chasing the dollar that you're ne ne neglecting your self-care, right? Are you doing those things that's important for your mental health and well-being? I don't care what anyone says. Listen, <laughs> I tell anyone, especially those in healthcare, my, my fellow sisters and brothers in healthcare, <laughs> nurses, STNAs, right? Working in a nurse, a home, hospital, clinics, whatever. You better take your break. That's the time you get to reset and reboot. I don't want to hear that. Oh, you don't have enough time. You're going to be behind. Okay. You have to do what is best for you. You have to learn to take care of yourself, right? And again, this goes back to living in alignment. Yes, you care about people. You, you, you want to put patients first, right? But what good are you if you're no what good are you to others if you're no good to yourself? If now you're you're getting sick, right? So many people working in healthcare with health-related issues. Uh, because they neglect themselves, because they think what's important is getting this done and getting everything finished in time. I'm not saying it's not important. It's important, but you have to take care of yourself, right? Uh, the importance of practicing mindfulness, right? So what I'm giving you now is some uh, discovering little things that can help you uh, discover your true self, right? And Mindfulness, journaling, right? Assessing your spending habits, right? Going over your budget, being truthful and honest with your finances. You don't have to tell me. Be honest and truthful with yourself. Write it all out. Mindfulness, meditation, right? The importance of make, making sure you take care of yourself. Are you going, are you getting, treating yourself to at least a massage once a month, right? It's part of your self-care once a month. Listen, you don't have to go to these brands, the, the massage brands to get a good massage. The Asian massage parlors, they're awesome. Actually, they're better than the regular massage parlors. You go there, right? I've had a 90-minute massage. It was the best massage ever. So now for me, I, I make it a, a, an effort to make sure that I go at least once or every other week. It's part of my self-care, right? Part of my self-care is the joint chiropractic. I like to go there. I use them and I go there and I get my alignment, right? To get aligned up with any time when I'm feeling tense and my back and I need some relief. In addition to walking, right? Walking, getting those five miles and 10 to 12,000 steps in, getting them steps in. Listen, you have to make it a priority to take care of yourself. All right. So I want to move on now to overcoming obstacles, right? Overcoming obstacles when you're trying to live authentically. What are some of those obstacles? When you are trying to live authentically, right, you can face you can face backlash from people who think what you're doing or what you're what you're believing or what you're doing is not the norm. 
because it's not what the most of what others are doing, right? Um, you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with maybe you may even lose some friendship, right? Because you're, again, again, you have superficial friends, right? I talked about that before, superficial friends, right? Because they just care about a look or whatever. I'm not going to get into that. You know what I mean, right? So again, living authentically because you, you're not being a people pleaser, right? You're not being a people pleaser. Remember, I talked about last, last week, no longer enabling others for their negative behavior, right? And learning how to say no, okay? That's part of it embrace and and stand firm on what you believe embrace and stand firm on what you believe and who cares what other people thinks all right strategies to overcome fear right if you're afraid about something and you you you, you find it to be fearful you have doubt and you have and you have resistance these things are expressed in the body right when you're living with fear, doubt, and resistance, they are manifested in the body, emotions, and the body. The mind and the body are not separate. So managing your emotions and learning to overcome fear, how can you learn to overcome fear? It's just by doing it anyway, right? Learning how to overcome fear is just by doing it anyway, even though you may be fearful. So you maybe you want to start a podcast or maybe you just want to have a, a vlog, video blog or whatever. Maybe you want to record videos or whatever. Listen, start recording, start doing those things. Go live, right? Go live. Even to this day, if I go live, I'm still a little nervous. Like, oh, what if I mess up my words? And oh, what if this don't come out right? but I do it anyway, right? I don't do it that often, but when I do it, I do it anyway, right? And I say, ah, oh, whatever, just be yourself, relax, right? So now when I'm recording this video, I can be myself, I'm free. I feel just fine, <laughs> all right? So um, encouragement to persevere despite setbacks. Persevere despite setbacks. Don't be afraid to experience loss or challenges or obstacles. They're going to come regardless. They're going to come regardless. And even when you are closer to your goals, you will see that they will come, right? Don't be discouraged by it. Be encouraged and persevere, right? Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. And when, when you fail, dust yourself off, get back up and do it again, right? reassess and evaluate, okay? So learning how to overcome ob obstacles is from learning how to be resilient, learning how to still persevere despite it all, okay? That's the strength. That's the strength that we have. That's the strength um, that we were given to keep moving forward and to never give up. You only fail when you give up. Remember that you only fail when you give up, okay? What are some benefits? What are some benefits to living in alignment? Positive impact on your mental and physical health, your emotional, right? Your emotional wellness, right? And I didn't talk about this. And this is a deep one that you may or may not want to get into is really facing and dealing with those past traumas, Right? really dealing with those past traumas. Now, you may want to seek professional help when it comes to that. There are certain things that's manifested in how you are now that makes up your personality today based on childhood trauma, right? Based on what we have been taught as a child, based on the experiences that we've experienced as a child, right? It has shaped who we are today. Okay, so the benefits of living in alignment, positive impacts, like I said, on your mental, 
well-being, emotional, and physical health, and even your financial health, because I talked about that, right? I talked about, I gave an example of finances, right? Addressing the things that we don't want to face, addressing the truth about our income and our financial wellness. That's important, okay? So I wanted to cover this and I wanted to talk about that. So I thought that was important, but you, you, there are some practical things that you can do, right? And I talked about those, which is writing your journaling, right? Meditation, taking walks in the park. You know, I did an episode maybe about two episodes ago about getting back and connecting back to nature, right? Plant your feet on the ground, right? Putting your bare feet and connecting with the earth right? How important that is. We've have we've lost touch of getting in touch with nature, taking a walk in the park, right? Being surrounded by the trees, right? And the, and the birds and the animals, you know, all of those things. Just getting time to take time to connect and be in silence and just learn how to be, right? Relax and pause, take a breath, take a breather, Remain silent. You want clarity? Be silent. If you're looking for clarity and answers, be silent. Stop stressing and worrying over things uh, of, of that has not occurred yet into the future and worrying about and dwelling in the past. Only today is what matters. The right now, the right now, here and now, present moment. That's what matters most. All right? So again, self-care, right? Taking time for self-care right? You work at a stressful job. That's why it's important to, why do you think these things mandatory? Why is it mandatory break? They're going to take it whether you use it or not, right? Whether you use it or not, they're going to take it. So if you choose not to take your break, they're still taking that 30 minutes or that hour away from you that you're not going to get paid for. So why not use that time to reset and reboot your mind? or whatever it is that you want to do during your time for yourself. All right. So I wanted to talk about this. Uh, I thought this was, this was important. So many people are living out of alignment, right? Uh, out of alignment for who, of who they really are, misalignment. All right. Um, and I, I'd like for you to reach out to me and, and share some of your own stories, share some of your own stories, or even questions that you may have for me. Listen, reach out to me on Instagram or even comment here in the post, right? Um, listen, <laughs> we got to stop living in fear, right? <laughs> time is short. We don't have a lot of time, as we think. You know that our life can be taken at any moment. It doesn't discriminate based on age, based on race based on religion, based on sexual orientation. None of that matters when it comes to death. When death comes, it comes, and it doesn't discriminate. So while you are here, make the best of every moment while you are here. If you are in misalignment, start living in alignment. <laughs> You'll find that the more that you are living in alignment with your true self, your core self, you, the more you will discover happiness. The more that you will discover who you really are, what you were meant to be, your purpose, right? Living on purpose. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. That's all for now. And until next time, bye for now. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Health Coach for Women with Marsha Rupchan Walker. If you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next episode.